Let's begin Zhang Chun breathing. We'll be holding each of the five postures for two minutes. Let's start with posture one. Lying down on your back and relax your whole body. Make sure your feet are shoulders width apart and your arms are 45 degrees from your body. Lower your chin slightly, stretching your spine. Slowly place your hands on your lower abdomen, resting them on your dungeon. If this is uncomfortable for your shoulders in any way, it's okay if you separate your hands and have them a little wider. Let your upper body be comfortable and relaxed. Breathe comfortably in and out, and simply you're going to push your lower back into the floor, tucking your tailbone. When you tuck your tailbone, naturally your pelvis will tilt forward, and you can feel an added pressure on your dungeon. Make sure all other parts of your body are relaxed, your legs, as well as your upper body, shoulders, and chest. Only push your lower back into the floor and feel your dungeon. Breathe comfortably and feel the sensation on your lower dungeon when you breathe. These are breathing postures, so the important thing is to first make the correct posture and then to next focus on the breathing sensation in your body as you hold the posture. You can keep being aware of yourself. If your shoulders become tense, relax. Breathe naturally. If you feel stuffiness in your chest, at any time, breathe out through your mouth. When your chest is comfortable, then you can close your mouth and feel the sensation on your lower abdomen. Posture one is for accumulating energy in the dungeon. Close your mouth so that you can feel the energy beginning to gather in your dungeon. Now we're moving to posture number two. Raise your legs up. Remember to keep your knees over your hips. Don't let them come too far forward or too far away from your body. Keep them right over your hips. Flex your feet, pulling your toes towards your body. And feel the sensation on the acupressure points on the bottoms of your feet. Again, tuck your chin slightly down. Feel the lengthening of your spine. And now push your lower back into the floor and breathe. Posture two is slightly more intensive than posture one, but also it's good for accumulating energy in your dungeon. So similarly, when you need to, exhale through your mouth to relax your chest shoulders, and even to relax your mind. And when you feel comfortable, then you can close your mouth and begin to feel the warm sensation growing in your lower abdomen. Keep bringing your mind to your body. Focus. Even if you feel some difficulty in this position or some vibration in your lower body, it's okay. 
your body is getting stronger and energy is accumulating. Just to breathe, keep your mind comfortable. Keep your lower back pushed down and feel your body. Posture number three. Now raise your legs straight up and reach for your toes. Bring your feet together. Push your heels up and pull your toes down, straightening your knees as much as you possibly can. Tuck your chin, again, so that you can feel the stretch in your spine and breathe out. Try to relax your shoulders as much as possible. If your shoulders become tense, please release your toes and place your hands behind your legs at any time. Let your upper body be comfortable. All of the work is being done in your lower body. Keep pushing your heels up. Vibration is a very good sign. This means that your kidney meridians that flow up the backs of your legs are beginning to open. As your kidney meridians open, energy can begin to circulate better through your lower body. Additionally, the kidney meridians run up through the center of the chest so energy will be able to circulate better through your chest area as well. Posture three is a circulation exercise. Keep breathing out. Keep pushing the heels up and pulling the toes. Keep tucking the chin slightly. Be aware to not let your chin ride up too much. Keep it down. Good. Now, posture number four, bringing your legs up and over into a plow posture. Here, keep straightening your knees Pull your toes and push your heels. Breathe out through your mouth. Relax your throat and chest. And try to drop your hips down towards the floor slightly, getting a nice deep stretch in your lower spine and sacrum area. Keep exhaling through your mouth in order to keep your throat and chest open. Through posture number four, you're stretching your bladder meridian, which runs up the backs of your legs and up your spine, up your neck and around your head. Through stretching out your whole bladder meridian, you can make a big circulation of energy through your body. You can release deep fatigue that was stuck inside and stress that was trapped in your lower back and spine. Keep breathing out. Keep tweaking the posture as much as you can. Pull your toes, push your heels, drop your hips. Keep your knees straight.
And when you come out of posture number four, try to keep holding your toes. Slowly lower your hips back down. Feel the opening in your spine. And pause at posture number three. Hold here, straighten the legs, pull the toes and push the heels. Relax the shoulders, tuck the chin, and breathe. You can already feel changes taking place in your body. Slowly coming down, release your toes. Bringing your hands back to your dungeon and bringing your legs back to posture number two. Good. Bend your knees. Pull your toes towards your body and push your lower back slightly into the floor. Now, after opening the circulation in our body, we begin to accumulate again. So feel the warm energy accumulating on your lower dungeon. Slowly, posture number five. Cross your legs and lower your legs all the way down to the floor. Keep resting your hands on your dungeon and keep tucking your chin. Now is the time to really feel the warm energy gathering in your abdomen. So feel your breath. Just relax and breathe. If you need to, you can open your mouth and exhale, or you can close your mouth and feel the gathering of energy in your dungeon. Try to concentrate on each and every breath. Relax your body, relax your mind more and more with every single breath. Good. and when you finish, release your legs. If at any time during posture number five, you feel very uncomfortable and cannot focus or relax, you can release your legs. When you're done, release your legs and shake them out slightly, loosening up your hips, your knees, and your ankles. and stop. 
And now slowly turn your body to the left side and have a seat. Great, how do you feel? After the five postures of Jung Chun breathing, you may feel many changes taking place in your body. Opening of the chest, warmth in the dungeon, and an overall sense of re-energized, refreshed, and relaxation. Enjoy Jung Chun breathing at any time. If you feel that you need an added challenge, please hold each posture for a little bit longer. If you feel that it's too difficult, then feel free to modify at any time. Enjoy. <laughs>